Hey, what's up everyone? It's Spirit Messenger and I'm back with another video for you all here in Silent Hill 2 Remake. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the dog ending here in the game and uh, what you need to do to get it. Uh, now, first thing you need to do is start a new game plus. That is how you get this ending. And you also need the dog key. And I'm going to show you what that is here. Here it is. Now, this is actually in pieces. You have to find both pieces to make the dog key. Uh, the piece that James is holding right now in his hand, the paw end, and then is, and then also the bone end on top there. And I'm going to show you my map where to get these items. So the paw end, when you first make it into town, and you uh, are on and you get on Neely Street, uh, right next to Big J's. Right next to Big J's is the pet center. And in the pet center, in the back room, uh, you're going to see an open dog kennel and then also the paw end of the key. That is how you get that. Uh, keep in mind, though, that is the only time that you can get that piece when you first make it into town. That is the only time the pet center is open. The second time you come back through the town, uh, when it's uh, you're in the uh, the quote unquote the other world, uh, the pet center is closed. So after that, you are no longer able to get that piece of the dog key. Got to get it first thing right when you enter town, uh, before you go into uh, Woodside Apartments. So as long as you do that before you get to Woodside Apartments, uh, you'll be on your way. Now, the second piece of the key, the bone part. The bone part you will get after you exit Rosewater Park with Maria, and you guys go out the gate right here from Jack's Inn. So after that, you're gonna go down Munson Street and take a right onto Cat Street. Now, Cat Street is a residential street, so you're gonna see houses on both your left and your right-hand side. And if I am not mistaken, on the right hand side of the street in between two houses i believe it's the first two or the second and third house you're gonna see a white gate with a uh a dog bone on it and uh, you'll be able to go through that gate into the backyard and in the backyard there is a dog house and in the dog house is the bone part of the key um at which point you are now able to combine both pe both pieces and uh create the dog key uh, be advised, though, uh, this is the only time that you can get that part of the key as well. Because uh, once you uh, make it past that little uh, this closed-off entrance, the alleyway right here, as you know, you're going to initiate a cutscene. And uh, James and Maria cut through that alley, and uh, you're no longer able to get back to this side of Cat Street. Even once you get to the other world part and you're making your way back through the town, again... Uh, that gate that you originally went through from Jackson is now locked and closed and you can't make it through. So uh, be advised for the dog ending. Uh, be very careful when getting the pieces because those are the only times that you can get those pieces. But once you have both those pieces, you just want to keep making your way through the game until you reach Lakeview Hotel and you get the third floor key. Now... Uh, once you're on the third floor and you're coming down the hallway here, uh, instead of going to James and Maria's room down there, you actually want to go to right here, the observation room. Use the dog key, and that will give you the dog ending. Um, I won't say anything and spoil that ending for you, but that's what you have to do. That's all you got to do to get this dog ending is just get the dog key and just keep playing the game till you reach the observation room here in the hotel. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave your comments below. And I will see you all next time.